In 2018, we left all we had ever known behind in Florida to make our way to Alaska in an attempt to drive our truck camper from Alaska to Argentina. We made it to the top of the world and turned south only to confront one challenge after another. But along the way, we fell in love with the road and realized that our call to wander would need an RV with a little more space. So we sold our truck camper and purchased a 22-year-old Class C motorhome that needed just a little bit of TLC. This is the story of how we spent six months remodeling our new home on the road. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. I am in the camper. Lindsay's in the camper. She's in the place she's not supposed to be. I thought we were done back here. I have to put this on. Is that okay? There goes the arrow. It's, it's backwards, Lindsay. It's facing backwards. No, it's not. This is the way I wanted it to face. Okay. Bed. Ow! Son of a... Man, I'm going to take my head off on that. Yeah. You got to like rubber coat everything. Um... Bedroom's nice. Um, but we're just gonna get stuff done because it needs to be done. It needs to be done in a big way. Today is the 30th of March, which means April's in two days. April's in two days, which means we're three and a half months behind schedule. Yeah. How do you feel about that? We probably should get jobs working with the government. <laughs> what do you think? It's been slow. Except we've done this like for half the cost, so we would have to like yeah. inf we'd have to learn to inflate the budget like mm -hmm. four or five times maybe, yeah. and then then we'd be great government employees. If you work for the government, I'm I apologize. I know you're probably a productive, you know, hardworking, efficient person, but my suspicions are still there that our government is not efficient and spends way too much money and comes in way way late, just like we are late. However. Um, speaking, of, I guess speaking of late, I'm putting the camera down. I'm late getting to work. I'm sitting on our toilet. Not really our toilet, but where our toilet's gonna go. We were going to put our uh, shower towel uh, towel rack and our toilet paper rack in this little space, and I realized if I'm gonna be building, I need to have room to build. So we're not gonna be doing the um, toilet paper rack, but we are gonna put the shower rack right up here which is pretty much where the other one was. And in doing this, we're going to use a piece of wood on this side of the flimsy wood. Camper wood is flimsy. There's hardly any studs. When you find a stud, good for you. But we're gonna use this board over here and it's gonna come up where we want it to be here. And then on this side, we'll punch our holes in and we will mount We're gonna mount that to the wall and then screw all the way through into the wood on the other side. So I may do this, I may crank these in by hand. I'm not certain yet. It'll obviously take more time if I do that. But at this point, I'm in the business of doing things right, no matter how much time they take, because I'd rather not have to redo them later. Living in our truck camper, we learned a lot about redoing things, and I'm trying not to do that more than I have to in this case. And of course, we're trying to help you not redo things, but no doubt you will, because we watch lots of YouTube videos about how to do all these things, and everybody makes it look so easy. That's why I'm here. I'm here to show you that it's not easy. It's not as easy as everybody makes it look, and you're gonna screw up at some point, just like I screw up all the time, and you're gonna have to do things two or three times. You're gonna get a water leak where you weren't expecting it, or you're gonna drill a hole through and think you got, oh, look at that, and then your power turns off because you went right through a, a wire. Good news, you got wire crimpers, you got extra kit wire, and you got butt connectors, and you can all hook it all back up together, but it's gonna happen. Things aren't gonna go the way you think they are. So in this case, I got these all set up. I'm gonna, um, I think I am gonna use my screwdriver by hand and go ahead and twist these in. So give me a moment on that. But these are pretty sturdy right now. So Lindsay can go ahead and twist all the components back into place for these guys. And they'll go like that, right into there like that. And then we'll have it done. Yeah, how are we gonna put that back in? I guess I gotta take you, the bar off. You gotta take the bar off. Okay. How do you feel about that? Oh, fun. 
Hey, you got this? I got it. That confidence in you. It's good confidence. Mm -hmm. So our toilet seat, I was thinking we should just drill a hole right here. And then we sit on it. We have a bag that, that just connects to there. And then you just sit on it and you poop or, or pee in the, yeah. in the seat. Because this is one of the most comfortable seats I've ever had. I'm a real boy. That's upside down. <laughs> I'm a real boy. Yeah. Your nose grew a lot. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is the idea of what we're doing. Um, it only took me two dowels to figure out the right way to do it. Um, and so this was in the wall, or this will be the wall. And I really screwed a hole pretty yep. bad in there. Um, but the idea is that this is what we're going to end up with. And now I know how to do it. So. To show you that, toss me another one of them there dowels. Oh, the big ones. We're gonna do a big one. No, it's what was in here. Yeah, so you wanna oh, mark no. the center as best you can. And then now that I say that, I didn't do that in this other one. Yeah. So it doesn't matter if you mark the center. What you wanna do is you wanna make a drill, a hole that's going to be at 90 degrees to the cut. So our cut, we did at 30 degrees. So I'm gonna drill like that. This one, we drilled too far. See, there's a the screw. It hang on, shows. hang on, hang on. You're using the Royal Wii. You didn't do anything. <laughs> I screwed Hey, it up. I was looking up ways to help. I screwed To figure out how to do this. So Even, we went too deep. All right, we need that blue tape over there. We, like so many brilliant people, watched other brilliant people on YouTube pretend like they knew what they were doing. You know we don't know what we're doing, so we're just making this up as we go. This isn't a science. This is all just like winging it. And we're going to start putting it in that there hole. With using your fingers, you can get it started, but you're going to end up needing to use pliers. Kind of crank that guy in there. Look at that, number three. Number one was very difficult. Number two was pretty challenging. Number three, easy breezy. Yeah. Third time's a charm, kind of like getting married, you know? Like the first one didn't work for me. The second one didn't work for me, but hey, look at you, you're still here. <laughs> That's a joke, Lindsay knows she's my first wife. <laughs> and my only wife, I just thought that'd be a clever little joke, you know, like in the spirit of being a jokester. One, yeah, third wife. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, it, it does, doesn't doesn't work. But this went in. Oh, this went in really well, really easily because we did it right. Third time was the charm. Actually, this is the fifth time because I got two <laughs> dowels that I screwed yeah. up, and then this one I mostly screwed up, and then that one I sort of screwed up. Well, this one went in good. It just because this wall is hollow. Yeah. It's it's not very. Sturdy. But the third one was like. Boom, got it, or the Perfect. fifth one, whatever. Fifth. <laughs> so we can't do any more of these. We do have the wooden dowels, but we don't have the screws. So we're gonna have to go to Lowe's at some point. Good news is tonight's date night. Maybe we yeah. go to Lowe's on date night. Even though I was at Lowe's at seven o'clock this morning, <laughs> getting stuff to try to knock out all these things. So I don't even remember what we have left. Mm, shiny. Sorta. <laughs> so you see the inside. I know. This I've been is using it. I love this thing. This is Lindsay's Christmas present. It's a Gourmia air fryer. I bought it for. Her. Oh, actually, I think Mom bought it for you. Yeah. But I went to Target to get it, and um, I bought it, and I snuck it in here, and I sized it to make sure fit. it was gonna fit because air fryers come in all different shapes and sizes. So that's gonna be its home. Yeah, looks good up there. Huh? It does. Seen it up there. But then we want to put a little bungee system across here, and I think one bungee actually would probably do the trick. 
Probably. But we could do doom doom. And then have this little thing. This little piece of wood will be down there to stop it from sliding out, but it's mm -hmm. not going to want to slide too much. But when you live in an RV, um, rule number 17, I think it is, which should probably be rule number one, is that everything freaking moves, <laughs> including your RV, right? You're driving down the road, everything's literally moving. And then a deer jumps in front of you and you go, oh my gosh, it's a deer! And you slam on the brakes and then whoosh, all of a sudden you're getting hit in the head with a can of rice and it, boom, it blows up everywhere. <laughs> a can of rice comes in cans? We, like, we put it in a can. <laughs> we, you take it out of the bag and you put it in a little pop top thinking that that's going to keep it secure. The pop top hits you in the head and boom, it just like, you can picture it, just boom, rice everywhere. <laughs> or you're driving down the road and you're happy-go-lucky and you're like, oh, this is great. Look, there's a slot canyon over there. It's only eight miles down that washboard road. Let's do it. <laughs> and then three minutes later, you're going, uh, <laughs> ka -ching, ka -ching, ka -ching. and you look back and you see like your We're entire speaking life. from experience here. Your it's entire life is us. all over the floor. Except in the truck camper, you don't realize your life's on the floor until you get to where you're going and you get out and you, and you, park, open, up and you door, open up the door and everything and like, falls out on you. Look me. at everything on the floor. <laughs> but in this thing, we're going to be driving and we're going to hear... <laughs> we're going to hear everything moving. <laughs> we're going to hear the chaos. And so we want to try to secure the chaos before the chaos really becomes chaos. So the idea is this thing will break. It is glass. Rule number 73 of RVing <laughs> is don't put glass in your camper. Glass windows, glass windshield, fantastic idea. The rest of the camper, no glass. No glass glasses, no glass coffee mugs, no glass plates, no glass coffee maker, whatever. No <laughs> glass. So this is glass, which means if it were to take a fall, whoosh, first it's going to hit this and probably ruin something pretty here. And then it's going to fall on the ground. It's going to shatter everywhere. The dog's going to jump up in my lap while I'm driving. Probably jerk my arm. We're going to go off a cliff and it's all going to be over. All because, all because of the glass. So we're going to secure the glass with a little bungee strap coming across here. Maybe two. Put this little guy or a little, maybe a one by underneath there. So that I have to physically to get this out. We'll have to physically lift it up over the and bring it there and then lift it up in the back and bring it over but it's light enough that we should be able to do so which also means it's light enough to go flying on its own we are calling it a day it's been um pretty um no oh hum but it's just continuing to drag on and you know that and you're tired of hearing that so until the next episode thank you for being a part of our journey thank you for being a part of our story we hope that we encourage, inspire, inform you on things that you can do, ways that you can live the abundant life on the road, if you're fixing up an RV, or if you're traveling to any of the places that we have or will be traveling, we hope we're able to help you out in some way. Thanks again for being a part of this. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to our channel, like this video, leave us a positive comment. You know what happens to the negative ones. And we will see you when we see you in the next episode. Bye, Felicia.